My involvement with the Friendship Centre movement probably started back in the early 70s uh, in Kamloops with the event, with the Kamloops Indian the Kamloops Interior Indian Friendship Centre and it was just at the stage of discussion and uh, it started with a family that uh, wanted to have some activities for the youth in the town of Kamloops and so from there uh, they pulled together a number of um, interested people and a number of government people and found funding to, to start the uh, Friendship Centre in Kamloops. So I was probably involved uh, with that Friendship Centre for about uh, 14 years. And then um, I um, came down to Vancouver and, uh, in 1986 and was uh, quite enjoying my retirement when I was pulled out of retirement by the community and asked to come to the Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre and assist them in um, building the, building the centre into uh, a thriving uh, community centre. So um, the, the uh, Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre is considered to be the hub of the community and um, the Friendship Centre is probably the gathering place for the urban Aboriginal people in Vancouver and it provides the cultural activities that they are separated from by being in the urban areas. On Tuesday nights we have powwow night which brings the uh, interior and the prairie people into their cultural singing, dancing and drumming and on Wednesday nights we have West Coast Family Night where the coastal people can come and participate in their traditional uh, drumming, singing and dancing. So there's a lot of cultural activity that's provided with the Friendship Centre and um, it's a very important meeting place for our urban Aboriginal people that come from all over. Um, the, it's the uh, focal point for people who are looking for better employment opportunities, better educational opportunities, um, who are actually looking for housing, um, and who come to Vancouver for health reasons. So there are many reasons that people choose to live and uh, um, stay in Vancouver and make it their home and the Friendship Centre is an important gathering place for them to participate in cultural activities and to connect with friends and families. So uh, my early involvement with the Friendship Centre movement would be when in Kamloops we were just starting to um, get the Friendship Centre off the ground and there was discussions with the family unit and the, the, the uh, daughter, Joni, um, uh, was very uh, influential in talking to her parents about what was needed for the young people in, in the town of Kamloops because the reserve is outside of the, the town. And um, so uh, her parents, George Leonard and Margaret Leonard, and her grandfather, Eddie Bennett, were the ones that really got the uh, ball rolling with regards to talking to the city, talking to um, uh, people with money, if you will, uh, in supporting the idea of a friendship centre at the time. So later, um, other families from the reserve got involved, the Thomas family got involved, and uh, uh, then the, um, the friendship centre was formed. I think in 1969 when the white paper came out, that caused a real ripple across the country in our communities, especially in the urban Aboriginal communities. And I think that's when um, everybody really took hold of their identity. Because up until that time, 
there wasn't that pride, there wasn't that real affirmation of coming out and saying, yes, I am First Nations, or yes, I am Aboriginal, uh, or yes, I am Inuit or Métis. It was um, something that was there and that you, you know, lived with. But in the late 60s, um, that identification came out very strong. And uh, I can recall a, a cartoon that said, either you is or you ain't. And so that was when we took hold of our identity and our pride and of being First Nations or uh, Aboriginal. And I think at that time, um, people were drawn to the friendship centers because the friendship centers were the first point of contact when you came into a town or a city. And that's where you went to look for friends, for relatives, or to look for referrals, for housing, for health issues, employment issues, social issues, and all of that. And up to that point, the friendship centers were a bridging, a bridging agency for people who are migrating from the rural area or out of province into the urban area. They were the meeting place, but at that point in time, they became more of the referral agency and they became more of the delivery of so social services for, for the emerging urban population. I think it was about then that there was a big, big impact with the Friendship Centres. The Friendship Centre movement has been the formation of our community as a whole, of coming together, of family, and with providing a home away from home.